Hey, what is up guys and welcome back to the channel. So today we have a new product. Well, it's actually not new. It's a new combo basically that we're going to take a look at. Now, I've already done review and I have tested this setup here, which proves to be very good. Now, what you get here is a 4-in-1 ESC F4 flight controller fully specced out. 6S capable, however, I did not test on 6S. So you have to search the web or wait for my 6S test. And they also provide you with an FPV camera, which is a proper camera from Cadex. And Cadex always proved to me to have the fastest cameras in the market for, in terms of latency and good quality. So let's take a look at the ESC and the flight controller itself first, if you're new to the channel or you haven't seen this product before. Now, what's so cool about this? Now, there's a love and hate relationship between this stack uh, for me and possibly for some other people as well. And what do I mean by that? Well, first thing, you have no pads to connect any of your interfaces, such as the camera, such as the VTX, such as uh, uh, your receiver. But what they do instead, they make it very simple for you to set up. Now, you might say, okay, well, how? Well, what they do is they provide you with exactly every single wire needed. So if you're not really good at soldering, and I've seen a couple of people's uh, soldering jobs before, uh, this will save you time and headache and a possible burned out flight control, which is really nice. So they also provide you just with the normal connectors, just to basically wires here, which you can extend. But if you take a closer look inside, you can find one for just about everything. For example, this would be for S bus, which you would connect it to the correct port, which everything is labeled also and nice to see here. ESC connection is with a single connector, so you get the everything connected perfect from the uh, current sensor to the grounding to the regulator to the shunt resistor for the current reading, which is really nice to see here. And if we take a closer look here, we'll also even have the exact uh, wire for the camera, which goes to basically 90% of the FPV cameras that we are using, such as the run cams, the Fox Sears. And this is a really nice combo. When you think about the amount of um, the amount of things you're getting for 90 bucks, it's really good to get something like this from the market currently will at least fetch you 100 bucks if you're buying from China. Um, some kind of oh, it can go up to 120. So to get this for 90 bucks here is a really, really good deal because all you're left with getting is the VTX motors and frame and obviously the receiver and they provide you basically everything here now the flight controller on here is a full-fledged flight controller with everything you have your osd you have your f4 flight controller you have sd card expansion you have your usb here obviously you're going to have a usb they even have a, a spectrum or satellite uh, type uh, receiver connector here so uh, they have this very well thought out and again it's a love-hate relationship between these connectors and soldering pads. So you will have to use the connectors that are provided. However, they do provide you with just about every single one you'll need. And they have the whole thing set up, as you can tell here, with uh, rubber damp. Just everything is damped here. Even here, they provide you with O-rings for the ESC to keep it damped also. And the type of connection, which is with wire, also reduces the chances of you breaking the pins and also uh, having the vibrations seep into the flight controller's gyro and again we're using the mp6000 gyro so we really have nothing to worry about in that perspective here now if you take a closer look here i didn't notice this before we have a regulator on board and i think this is a 12 volt regulator now what's so cool about this well this has its advantages and its disadvantages now one of the biggest advantages here if you're going to be powering off your vtx from the nine from the 12 volt regulator and i do believe this has a 12 volt regulator on board so if you're going to be powering off your vtx from the 12 volt regulator on board this is really nice to see and why is that really nice to see so this is a linear voltage regulator and um, they're not as efficient as a switching regulators most of the equipment we're receiving now has a switching regulator and switching regulators are a little uh, more susceptible to noise a lot more than a linear voltage regulator as we can tell here so this is nice in that perspective this will increase the chances of you having a very good uh, clean video feed now I did go ahead and do test noise and as you can tell here we also have another uh, linear voltage regulator this improves the overall, not efficiency, but it doesn't really matter that we're having some power loss, but the filtration should theoretically be absolutely phenomenal. However, and again, now for a 6S setup, if you take a closer look, now the MOSFETs here they're using, I think these are the 3x3 MOSFETs, they're not really, they can handle 6S, but I personally wouldn't recommend using them on a 6S, possibly in a very hard crash you might pop a... a a what is it called a uh, a MOSFET or two 
but take that into consideration. But if I think a 4 5 S setup will absolutely be phenomenal on this. Filtration all board looks really good for a flight controller. Uh, we're not really getting seeing that much lately of filtration on flight controllers. Usually we're just relying on the ESC's filtration, hoping for the best, and uh, basically crossing our fingers. Now I don't see a barometer and uh, anything of that nature here. Let me just, just double check everything. Yeah, so basically filtration looks good. We do have SD card expansion. Like I mentioned, everything is using connectors here. So if we even take a closer look, everything is really nicely labeled. So that's a huge plus, especially if you're new and you're not really good at soldering or you just can't see that close or you just want to build a quad cup without having to worry about soldering. Uh, this would be a really good uh, this would be a really good setup for you. Uh, this is basically a premium setup here, so uh, you're not going to be left behind with like just a, a crappy setup. So they've gone for ease of use here and ease of replacement, especially if you're racing. I don't know if you'll be using this if you're racing, but if you are racing, that'll just make things a lot easier for you because pull the connector, pull all the connectors, remove this, bring the new flight controller, put in the connectors, and uh, you're good to go again. So that's really nice in that perspective. Uh, overall, this tested good. The camera quality is really good. Unfortunately, I can't really give you the, the, the video footage of the camera quality because uh, it's I've been having really terrible weather these past four days and I haven't been able to leave the uh, the shop here to test out any of the things that I'm actually waiting to test out. Um, but overall, this is a really nice combo and it is a good priced combo and is highly recommended, especially if you're starting out because of the type because of the way you'll be connecting things it'll be a lot easier and since they have prepared every single connector for you uh, which is absolutely really nice as you can tell here's the VTX they even provide you with the standard type output for the VTX now some VTXs will come that you have to solder onto then you just solder you just grab one of these and you just solder it and you're good to go so here you're getting everything you're getting all the ESCs the flight control the OSD even the camera for a really good price and this is a proper setup here and it's nothing cheap so if you're looking for a nice I would consider this a mid-range setup um, then this would be uh, one for you but if you're looking for a 6s I would definitely try not to use this on a success you can get away with using it but personally I, me personally from what i have used and what i have seen i wouldn't really i'd always just check at least the size of the mosfets that's just one telltale sign of uh, how how well it's going to perform on a success because we can get some very massive voltage spikes induced through crashes on a success even on a 4s we get some pretty massive ones so on a success it'll be even a lot more so take that into consideration they do also provide you with the low row low uh, low esr capacitor which is a rubicon 25 volt 330 microfarads um this is nice to see here and let me explain why uh the filtration on board seems to be really good for them to provide you with such a small one that means um it doesn't really need much extra filtration on board so that's really nice in that perspective and we will see this on a build i do have a four in one esc testing setup that you will see on the channel very soon for real world testing and um i'll probably also stick this version into the esc tester and uh go ahead and see how all this performs this is just an overview if anyone wanted to see this product before purchasing it and well that's it guys that's gonna conclude it for this video guys i really hope you guys enjoyed it and um i'll see you in the next one peace out